Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to install the Electron Analog HDMI mod for the Fat PS2. Information on installing this is scarce, so I felt compelled to kind of get all that I found here for anyone else struggling with this. If you have a slim PS2, you should watch Macho Nacho's video. I first learned this mod through that video, and the installation process differs between the Fat and Slim models. Before you take everything apart, you should ensure your PS2 settings sets as Y setting and not RGB or you won't have a signal at the end. Supplies I used were soldering iron, solder flux, capped on tape, and 26 gauge wire, although you might want to use 22 gauge for the 5 volt wire. To disassemble the PS2, watch this video or follow this iFixit guide. Link in the description. I'm going to be keeping this guide short. I won't be showing you all of my soldering and whatnot. When I got to the motherboard, I realized that there is a difference between the fat and slim models. The component cable pinout is mirrored. This confused me as I was using the Macho Nacho guide, and I scoured the internet looking for other guides. I nearly gave up, but then I found someone commenting on how they did it on the Electron Analog product page. Here is the wiring guide I found from AF in the product page comments. Part of it didn't work for me though, pulling the 5 volts from this pin. I would soon find that out. The correct pin to pull power from is up top, from the USB ports. This info here is all correct. Also, fill this spot on the Electron Analog with solder to get that sweet, sweet analog audio. Now you get to listen to my struggle. Following their example, I soldered everything, put it back together, bent part of the shield to get it to fit, and booted it up to no image. Again, I was lost. I looked through the Electron Analog comments and found that I need to get the 5 volt power from the USB pins. That's wonderful news, but I don't know what pin that is. Continuing the search, I found a German YouTube video installing this mod that showed me which USB pin I should be pulling the 5 volts power from. It also showed me a different way of installing this mod, by chopping a component cable in half and wiring that to the electron analog. I didn't want to sacrifice my cable though, and I was already soldered directly to the pins. To get my wires through the case, I cut a hole near the power input using what I had, a metal saw and sheet metal cutters. I also had to shave down the plastic that holds the power input in place. Now with all that searching that took me days as I would give up temporarily when I encountered roadblocks, I had completed the mod and it worked perfectly. There's definitely a cleaner way to install this and keep it secure instead of flopping around, but I don't care.